what's up everyone, it's Dave, and we are back with the last reading of the book of Acts in the New Testament. So we are on chapter 28, and for those of you that have been following along, you know that we're reading out of the New King James Version. So, And then for those of you that are just joining us, if you don't have a Bible, remember that you can go to Bible.com and read for free. Um, you can also download the Version app uh, on any Android or Apple device. So, all right, so today we're going to talk about Paul's ministry on Malta, arrival at Rome, Paul's ministry at Rome, and that's it for a total of 31 verses. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, when they had escaped, they then found out that the island was called Malta and that the natives showed us great unusual kindness for they kindled a fire and made us all welcome because of the rain that was falling and because of the cold but when Paul had gathered a bundle of sticks and laid them on a fire a viper came out because of the heat and fastened on his hand so that when the natives saw the creature hanging from his hand they said to one another no doubt this man is a murderer whom though he escaped the sea yet justice does not allow to live but he shook the creature off into the fire and suffered no harm However, they were expecting that he would swell up or suddenly fall down dead. But after they had looked a long time and saw no harm come to him, they changed their minds and said that he was a god. In that region, there was an estate of the leading citizen of the island whose name was Publius, who received us and entertained us courteously for three days. And it happened that the father of uh, Publius lay sick with, of a fever and dysentery. Paul went into him and prayed, and laid his hands on him and healed him. And when this was done, the rest of those on the island who had diseases also came and were healed. They also honored us in many ways, and when we departed, they provided such things as were necessary. After three months, we sailed in an Alexandrian ship whose figurehead was the twin brothers, which had wintered at the island. And landing at Syracuse, we stayed three days. From there, we circled around and reached Regium, and after one day the south wind blew, and the next day we came to Petioli, where we found brethren, and were invited to stay with them seven days. And so we went toward Rome. And from there, when the brethren heard about us, they came to meet us from as far as a pie forum and three inns. When Paul saw them, he thanked God and took courage. Now when they came to Rome, the centurion delivered the prisoners to the captain of the guard, but Paul was permitted to dwell by himself with the soldiers who guarded him. And it came to pass after three days that Paul called the leaders of the Jews together. So when they had come together, he said to them, Men and brethren, though I have done nothing against our people or the customs of our fathers, yet I was delivered as a prisoner from Jerusalem into the hands of the Romans, who when they had examined me wanted to let me go, because there was no case for putting me to death. But when the Jews spoke against it, it was compelled. I was compelled to appeal to Caesar, not that I had anything of which to accuse my nation. For this reason, therefore, I have called for you to see you and speak with you. Because of the hope of Israel, I am bound with this chain. And they said to him, We neither received letters from Judea concerning you, nor have any of the brethren who came reported or spoken any evil of you. But we desire to hear from you what you think, for concerning this sect, we know that it is spoken against everywhere. So when they had appointed him a day, many came to him at his lodging, to whom he explained and solemnly testified of the king, kingdom of God, persuading them concerning Jesus from both the law of Moses and the prophets, from morning till evening, and some were persuaded by the things which were spoken, and some disbelieved. So when they did not agree amongst themselves, they departed after Paul had said one word. The Holy Spirit spoke rightly through Isaiah the prophet to our fathers, saying, Go to his people and say, Hearing you will hear and shall not understand, and seeing you will see and not perceive. For the hearts of his people have grown dull. Their ears are hard of hearing, and their eyes they have closed. Lest they should see with their eyes and hear with their ears, lest they should understand him with their hearts and turn, so that I should heal them. Therefore, let it be known to you that the salvation of God has been sent to the Gentiles, and they will hear it. And when he had said these words, the Jews departed and had a great dispute amongst themselves. 
Then Paul dwelt two whole years in his own rented house and received all who came to him, preaching the gospel, the, the, preaching the kingdom of God and teaching the things which were concerned the Lord Jesus Christ with all confidence and no one forbidding him. So that concludes the book of Acts. Uh, next we'll be hitting the book of Romans, the epistle of Paul to the apostle, the apostle to the Romans. So thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it. Thanks for all the views. Um, thanks for the 600 plus subscribers that we have on the channel. Um, while it's not, you know, our goal to grow a huge channel just for any reason, but, but that of hopefully we can share the gospel of Jesus Christ, maybe to someone who wouldn't hear it. And maybe they'll hear that just from watching one of these videos. So thanks so much. Hope you guys have an awesome day. God bless. When life keeps falling and wonder where he is in all this mess, he's right there to guide you, unseen, you're not alone.